Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Neophyte. Um, this game just literally came out on early access as of uh, about a second ago and I, I've been uh, keeping an eye on this on Twitter. Yes, this is going to be another survival like you did, did read that right on the uh, on the description, but um, this one seemed like it, it was gonna set itself apart a little bit. We'll see how that how it, how it does that. Uh, I think that there's just like kind of an exhaustive number of survival likes around these days. But uh, you know, if, if you're kind of almost semi nauseated by the number, the sheer number of them, uh, I don't necessarily blame you. I I do a little bit as well, but. I do appreciate the format, at least uh, as long as there's a little bit of originality uh, injected into it. And I think that uh, from what I was seeing on Twitter uh, about this game, that it did have quite a bit of originality injected into it. So let's let's have a look. Use space while moving to dash. You evade all enemy. Move the altar. Move to the altar and press E to collect the basic spell. Learn fireball. Your spell slots are shown at the bottom of the screen. Press or okay. So we're using spells. So this one is like immediately a lot more interactive than a lot of the other Serata likes. You will collect additional spells over the course of a run. Uh, press tab or click the spell book icon below to open or close your spell book. Oh, press tab. Equip your no new spell by pressing the left click. Uh, I guess it would be this one. Or just dragging it into a slot, so we'll drag it into our right click. Um, you cannot cast spells while your spell book is open. Close your spell book to use it. I sure hope that that slows down the gameplay or at least pauses the game. So this is something I saw on Twitter and I just thought that was like really cool. Um, the little bit of juice in this game seems like a lot of fun. Some spells cost mana to cast, keep an eye on the mana bar. So this is another thing that this game is going to set itself apart a bit, is um, this game seems to have some limitations. Now I know that generally there are limitations to the abilities you use in survivals, uh, survival lakes, generally they have a cooldown. But this one you have to actually be a bit more mindful about it. So this is almost um, bridging the gap between survival lakes and roguelites. Uh, yeah, I, I hear it. I hear. It. I, I, I <laughs> listen. Not not a criticism of the game at all. It really is just like it's felt like a lot lately, hasn't it? Um, but that's that's not the game's fault. Let's let's keep continue. Move to the combat altar and press E to proceed to combat. All right. I gotta say right away, I really appreciate the approachability of this one. It seemed like another very like simplistic and uh, easy to jump into kind of game, and I honestly don't think I'll ever have enough of those kind of games. You know, like there's enough games that I feel like um, just you feel like you have to make them into a career of some sort. Let's do our, our beam attack. That, that worked out really well. Can we can use our beam to kind of weaken them, and then uh, use our fireball to finish them off. All right. And we can still dash, don't forget to dash. You gain rewards after each round of combat. Rewards include spells, tomes, and emblems. All right, place your cursor over an emblem or tome to see what bonuses it will provide. Gain move speed, nice. Um, after traversing seven tiles, the next damage spell you cast deals 25% more damage. What does seven tiles mean? Oh, I see. So depending on how long, how far we travel. Collected emblems are shown at the bottom left corner of the screen. Choose an additional reward from among the three altars. Critical hits ignite enemies. Um, you deal 14% more damage to enemies within three to five tiles. Your cooldown speed is increased. Your cooldown, oh, well, this seems like a, just an overall good item. I guess I'll, I'll take this, because this just seems like a damage upgrade. Gain 5%. Plus 5% melee resistance gain, plus 3% crit hit chance, gain extra mana per second. Well, since we just took something that double... No, we didn't take the crit, sorry. Um, melee resistance, let's take some more mana per second, and that way we can use some more abilities. Use the combat al alter to proceed to combat. Do we have any more spells? No, we don't. Let's go ahead and continue. So I, I really like the look of this. It's it's got It's got a really charming look to it. So we've got ranged users now, and fortunately, they, uh, their moves are very slow moving, so they should be easy enough to dodge. I 
things are getting a bit spicier already. And then our fireball doesn't seem to use any mana, so that's good. And we want to move as much as possible, I guess, because now we have a kind of passive ability that's going to help. I'm assuming that we don't get to keep potions, that they, they're kind of a one-time use. Spell slot unlocked. Nice. So what is this? Gain extra maximum mana. Teleport. Instantly teleport to target position. Nice. So we have a new spell we could use. While your mana is above 80%, your power is increased by 15 and you have a 20% chance to evade incoming damage. Healing potions drop more frequently. Uh, during combat, a heart familiar is tethered to you whenever you heal or regenerate. It releases a pulse that deals 40 da fire damage to enemies. I kind of like this enlightened because we've actually, we've already got some mana regen and extra mana, so that's more likely to happen. Uh, resistance to range. I want to go full glass cannon, so we're going to take move speed. So we have a teleport spell now. Uh, this is likely going to use, um, use some mana. I just realized, as long as we don't use our second spell, we'll do increased damage, I'm pretty sure, with our fireball. And as long as we're close to our, uh, the enemy, we're, we're gonna do even more increased damage. Do a teleport just to see how that works, and that worked really well. I really appreciate how, um, like, game-changing each spell is. It's, uh, this seems really cool, actually. That, uh, that teleport has a pretty nasty cooldown, so you can't necessarily always rely on it to be your friend. Alright. Oh, that potion's gone, but we haven't really taken damage yet. Of course, I had to say that as I was taking damage for our first time. So those explode and do damage. Okay. So what do we have? Gain plus four power. So we get all of these. You don't get to- you don't have to choose, you can take everything. But you have uh, life regeneration. Whenever you collect healing potion, you deal 400% of its maximum healing potential as damage to enemies within five tiles. Seems kind of cool, actually. Uh, I actually really like this basic spells does more damage. Gain extra cooldown speed, gain crit chance, gain attack speed. Interesting. What would be the difference between attack speed and cooldown speed? I guess this would give us cool, um, increase our cooldown or decrease your cooldown on the teleport, whereas this one would give us more attack speed. Let's take attack speed. Little touches and details on this one, um, I, I think, like, really... It make, makes me feel like the, the dev has um, given a lot of thought as to how to build this kind of game in an interesting or intelligent way. Um, things like, you know, when as we're moving or as we're attacking, we, we move slower is an interesting little touch that I, I haven't really seen too much. This feels like it's kind of like, um, you know, drawing a compromise between 10 or 20 minutes till dawn and uh, a lot of the other survival likes that feel a bit more like casual. This one's a lot more one-to-one, um, -one, like it's a bit more intimate in terms of your interactivity on it. Um, and it doesn't feel necessarily so passive. Um, a lot of the survival likes almost feel like they're playing the game for you. And that's not necessarily a criticism. I, I appreciate that about them. That's what makes them kind of fun. You don't have to worry so much. They're very much a, a casual uh, break time kind of game. But this one, it's, it's it feels a bit more rewarding almost immediately. All right, so we got some life per second. Acid fire, unleash a cone of fire towards target direction that engulfs enemies, dealing 160% of your power as fire damage. Oh, that seems like a lot. Uh, whenever you cast three spells, a spread of three projectiles are launched. Um, I assume that means our basic fireball spell as well. That could be good. Your critical chance, strike chance is increased. All damage taken is reduced. Um, let's take... Let's take this hail of blades. That sounds like fun. Yeah, that does. It does count towards our fireball as well. Let's increase our attack speed as well. That'll actually um, increase our chance of getting those those blades. That sounds like a good idea. I wonder if this uh, acid fire thing is going to use mana. Ooh, what is this? What's happening? Oh, a boss! Wow. 
Um, okay, so that felt kind of underwhelming, if I'm being honest. But that's okay. Maybe I didn't, uh, I wasn't close enough to uh, the enemies to, to really make the best of it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Wrong button. You'd think that shift would be uh, either dash or teleport, but I've set things up rather un uh, improperly. We can seem to do, we seem to be able to do damage. Ugh. Yeah. It seems to me I was able to wait. We have five spells. I should uh, check out our other spell. Ooh. Oh, that was no good. I don't know if we can destroy his uh, oh, his uh, weapon. Okay, we're taking a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Nothing we can't handle. Not enough mana. That's fine. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. That's what, it, what we wanted. We get to... We, we're, we get a lot of forgiveness in terms of our dash, which is nice, because you're gonna want to be able to use that often. All right, boss is dead. We haven't really uh, taken any kind of lethal damage yet. Um, we have six spells now, apparently. No. Why does it tell- why does it say six here, I wonder? I'm not sure. There we go. So, are we gonna get a different arena? We do get a different arena. And this one's got little edges- I wonder if we take damage if we walk over these. Yep. Makes sense. What is, uh, what is this business? Oh, I wonder if that's, uh, towards, a, uh, like a meta progression. Death Defiance. The next time you die, your life is set to 15% and you become invulnerable for three seconds instead. Well, I mean, that seems nice. It's not something I'm not gonna worry about too much. Your mana regeneration is increased. Whenever an enemy dies, you gain 2% life and mana re regeneration. That sounds like a good one. Your power is increased by 12 for each equipped spell on cooldown. That could be nice, but I feel like it's not going to synergize as much as this one. Um, extra cooldown speed. Yeah, let's let's get that cooldown speed. So we're not walking across that. We could teleport across it, though. I wonder if we can dash across it. Yes, we can. Okay, good to know. So we have um, totally new enemies here. Those are their fists. I thought that was something else, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Thought we were we were fighting something an entirely different kind of enemy. <laughs> okay, um, acid. That's that word. Oh god! Oh my god! Just go ahead and blast them. Okay, we want to deal with those flies as quickly as possible for future reference. I really, I have to say, I, I really appreciate how forgiving this uh, this game is. Yeah, like, I haven't really felt like, uh, um, you know, any mistake has been a life or death situation. Okay, Whirling Death. Conjure two blades that spin rapidly around you, destroying enemy projectiles and dealing 280% of your power as arcane damage. That sounds cool. Um, we'll have to see what we want to swap out. Maybe we want to swap out acid fire actually. Let's let's do that Try this instead uh, Can every 10 minutes you spend shocks and random enemy within six tiles dealing 90% of your powers like that sounds cool uh, And then we have your critical strike damage is increased um, enemies within three to five tiles have 20% Oh, that sounds really good, actually. That's almost as good as increasing my move speed. You're f you float while channeling, allowing you to move at 80% of your normal speed. Interesting. This sounds really cool. Um, let's take gain plus 8% crit damage. I'm going very glass cannon right now. So what happens here? It says, it says you float while channeling. Oh! You would think if I was floating, that would mean I would not take um, environmental damage. So I don't know if that's a mistake or if that's um, just something that 
it, it, it doesn't count. Okay, we're gonna kill these flies as quickly as we can. Because having too many of them on the screen is going to be detrimental to our health. I like these rats. Honestly, the, this game's got a really cute look to it that I really appreciate. Okay, so that, those blades are, are very quick cooldown. In fact, I can pretty much do them constantly if I wanted to. It's a good, a good move, especially with the flies, because um, they, they are uh, shooting a lot of projectiles at us. And this also uses up mana, which is going to proc our um, lightning attack. This game is really cool. I think that this this is a really worthy interest in this uh, survival like I had some high hopes for this because I thought it looked really cool but honestly playing it this it feels almost like a uh, survival like meets MOBA it's got enough kind of um, like interesting and unique abilities that that really it, it feels I don't know it feels really good Whenever you take damage, you deal 100% of that unmitigated amount as arcane damage to all enemies within. Oh, that's kind of cool. Whenever you cast a fire spell, you gain critical strike chance. Well, we're casting fire spells almost constantly. Critical hits ignite enemies. I kind of want to do this um, fire elemental. That sounds like a lot of fun. More mana, less cooldown, more power. Sounds More power sounds good. I have a habit of just like never taking any survival abilities and instead just going full powerhouse class cannon. Ooh, new ability. Oh. Okay, we gotta we gotta deal with that lad. Oh, we walked right into the, the business. Things are getting really uh crazy right now. Oh, I thought I, I dodged over it. I do appreciate the little bits of um, conveyance, like when our cool, uh, spells come off cooldown. Okay, I think we're okay. There was a moment where I thought we might actually die, but we're okay now. getting much more bold mostly because I want to deal with those guys before they become a real problem all right that was a little bit dicey but we're, we're okay more health static discharge hold to channel oh this is a new spell channel your power before unleashing a blast of ele electricity I like that we, we really got to make some choices as to what kind of spells we want to double down on. Uh, all damage taken is reduced. Your power is increased by 14. Wow. Your mana regeneration. No, I, I, I like the strength, strength of uh, blessing. Blessing of strength. Extra health. Uh, now I'm just going to double down on mana. Yeah, I, I'm really I'm really liking this, actually. This is, this is a lot of fun. Oh, I forgot channeling increases our, our move speed. And that's also going to deal extra lightning damage. Yeah, this this is good. <laughs> this feels really good. <laughs> I'm trying to dodge over that little uh, goo, but it's not really working out for me. Okay, that worked out really well. Outside of the little bit of uh, poison that keeps getting thrown at me, I'm doing really well avoiding most forms of damage. Oh yeah, I love just like dodging right into a group of 
of dudes and then slashing them. That's really nice. I should uh, also make more use of my beam because the beam gives me added movement speed and uh, also uses mana, so that means our, our, we're gonna get lightning uh, procs. Of course, it doesn't. we don't get our, our blades from that. Okay, what do we got? More mana, more health. Nice that we get those even if I don't have to take them. Um, more damage for close combat sounds good. Whenever you spend mana, you gain 2% melee and range. Nah, 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 extra damage. We're going full, full glass cannon. Extra mana, sounds good. Okay, so this is infinity. I wonder if there's a boss here. Yeah, there is a boss here. Okay, that's gonna be challenging. So we have the matriarch. I wonder if the matriarch is kind of uh, in influenced or inspired by the Duke of Flies, because it feels similar. Oh no! Oh, I almost died. Oh god! We need to. We need to get some health potion going on. Oh, that was really close. Oh. Oh my god, things are getting really rough, really quickly. Okay, we're alive, we're alive! I'm trying to do both crowd control as well as hit the boss, because the thing about crowd control is they're not, they're not gonna stop. No! Man, those do a lot of damage. Oh. I think I just died, technically. Oh, please. I'm so close. No! Oh my god. I can't believe I'm alive, honestly. I'm just trying to focus on staying alive. I don't have a lot of hope right now. Yeah. Oh, I was really close to beating that guy. Damn. Well, let's see. Uh, let's see what kind of meta progression we get. And uh, I'll see how I feel about that. Um, my, <laughs> I've done this to death, but uh, you know, I, my my feelings towards meta progression are generally mixed. That being said, I feel like I could have got beaten that, so I don't know if necessarily it's the bad kind of meta progression where we need it. So it looks like we get some extra starting stuff maybe, and uh, it looks like it throws some extra spells into the mix. I don't mind that as a form of meta progression. Um, uh, injecting replayability into the game um, for for you know progressing that's that's okay so long as it I don't feel like I ha need it in order to progress I think that that, that is totally fair um, let's see what is that all right that's it I really like this I think that this is uh, my new favorite survival lake I'm not kidding um, I'm gonna be doing another one this week. Uh, but and I really like that one as well, but man this one was such an unexpected banger and I, I am really uh, I'm really happy I, I gave it a shot. It's, it's three bucks as is all of these games But you know some of them are uh, more worth your time than others and I, I would definitely put this one up there So uh, definitely give it a try the link is in the description And uh, if you enjoyed this video definitely hit that like button consider subscribing for more content like this I'll see you guys next time Take it easy